Good morning, this is Paul, and thanks for checking out Phoenix Robileni. I call it the Pygmy Day Palm. <clears throat> Excuse me, the Pygmy Day Palm. And other people call it the Dwarf Day Palm. Now, it's a relative of the Canary Island Day Palm, and it is spiny, and it's also prone to pests, which I'll show you in a minute. But right now, this one needs a haircut. It's the only one I haven't pruned back. But I wanted to show you what it looks like when it gets a little bit of sunburn. And that is what it looks like when frost damage or a heat wave will do the same thing. And you just prune off the branch, or the frond, I should say, and it will look good as new. Now, they will turn quite yellow, as you can see here. And that's probably because of either the pest or the heat wave that we had about a month ago. And you can see eventually they'll be turned totally brown. It's not self-cleaning, you do have to prune it off. They don't come off easily. And even better, here are the dates. And believe it or not, they're edible. And they don't taste bad. Very little flesh on them. But they taste just like a regular date. Not bad at all. Quite tasty. Well, it's the seed. You could probably propagate them. I've not tried. Now here's what they should look like. They're very happy. And pruned back. It's a beautiful green color. But if you notice that they start to get some spotting from the new growth, it's going to happen soon here. I'll show you why. It's because you have a pest. And in Southern California, we are sus susceptible to the plant, the palm plant hopper. That's what it's called. I forgot. So the palm plant hoppers are vile little creatures. And believe it or not, the Argentine ants kind of protect them. See if I could show you what they look like. So you can see the ants are protecting them here. And right in there. See them? So these little vile creatures. Ow. Remember the spines are getting me. So let me see if I can zoom in. Gotta be really careful of the spines here. There. So there they are. And these horrible things are native to Africa, and they also call them the date bugs. And they'll, they're from North Africa, I should say, and into the Middle East. And they feed on the new growth, and they're protected by the ants because they produce honeydew. And so the Argent Argentine ants here will protect them and farm the honeydew, as you can see right now. There's an Argentine ant. And they live at the crown of this palm. And the nymphs will feed on the basal portions of the leaf and cause yellow spotting and the leaves will die back early and they're horrible horrible vile creatures so what i do is you could use this as a systemic like bear tree and shrub what i i use neem oil and i shake it give it a good shake and i actually use hydro uh, cold pressed neem oil and I add a bit of dish soap. That's why you see it a little soapy. And I just apply it to the base here. And that really annoys them. And hopefully it doesn't really kill them. But it does kind of slow their numbers down. And so that's what I will do a few times into the fall. Winter and spring. And again, the key is that you want to spray the crown really well. You can see the ants even bring in like... Some type of soil or something. See it in there? but that can work in your benefit because you can spray it and the neem oil will wash it away. So again, give it a really good spray, especially on the new growth. At the, that's actually the wrong spot. Let me show you better. Remember, you wanna get right at the top, like right at this, right here. And spray that so it goes downward and that's going to be the best way to kind of work on treating of these pests. Unless you want to use a systemic or a nicotoid that would go into the plant flesh 
but I don't want to do that because I like to eat these dates. Okay, there you go. That's what I do with my pygmy date palms in Southern California. And I'm, when I'm dealing with these horrible palm plant hoppers. Okay, give us a like and a subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.